And so uh, this is interesting, and you can resize the browser, obviously, right? And we get this nice stacking effect, and and you know a lot of responsive frameworks do this, but this isn't really the beauty of Foundation. So let's jump back in and do something a little bit more complicated from the desktop. So I'm gonna keep the same header, but uh, let's create like a two thirds split. Um, I'm gonna do the larger part on the left. So I'm gonna do large eight columns here. And I'm gonna create a sidebar that is gonna be large four columns. And of course you can't see this, right? Because you need a panel. So let's make the sidebar a panel. And let's create some sort of uh, typical sidebar we might see. So maybe I'll do a H3 and we'll call it the sidebar. And then let's create some sort of grouping. So we're gonna have like an H5 and that's gonna be something with maybe two words or let's say one word okay and then after this we're going to have a ul li and then an a and let's do a lorem 3 okay so this is just how i'm building out very quickly and so what's really nice again about Emmet is I can separate this out. So let's say I want the UL. And here, what I can do is say I want five of these, right? And we'll do it on the LI so it does everything. Okay. And we get five different things. Okay, perfect. And so sometimes you can do this in Emmet and I can continue to get more granular, but I tend to just duplicate. So uh, here we go, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Okay, and here we go. We have a sidebar with a bunch of information. So let's go and create something a little bit more complex in the first column and let's see what kind of things we might do. Okay, so one really great thing about foundation is you can nest grids and add more and more elements. So let's use uh, something standard you might see. So let's do maybe uh, a list of uh, images with headlines and this type of thing. So um, might do something like this. We're gonna create our row and then maybe we'll do a large four columns. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same kind of two-thirds split, the opposite direction, so large eight columns. Okay. And here we might start to put our text, so let's just use an H5, and we'll use lorem with five words. Okay, and then Underneath that, so I'm going to go up and level. Let's just do a paragraph with 15 lorem. Okay, and I'm just hitting tab and undo so I can kind of see what it looks like. And then maybe after that paragraph, I will create another paragraph, but put inside of it an anchor text that's going to be a button. Uh, radius and lorem. Let's not do lorem, let's just say it says uh, read me. Okay, so this becomes a problem, right, in Emmet, so it's an easy solution for it. Uh, which is 